So what I did was I went, went ahead and started designing a normal system, differential braking, remove all the mechanics from the nose gear, just leave it swiveling, free swiveling nose gear, differential braking, and your normal wire to rudder actuation. This way I knew that we would actually reach the goal in a short period of time. We would have a system that you didn't have to learn because I was having a hard time learning this stuff and it wasn't really something that I want to spend time doing at this point. I want to fly the airplane and I don't want to be on the runway trying to figure out how to control the plane in a new way. Uh, so there's all these kinds of things that I wanted to get done straight away. Now you can have a look back at what we did to make the, the pedals which was started less than two weeks ago, uh, got into SolidWorks, ran the whole system, tried to figure out how to make something that would work in the geometry that we have. Remember, we didn't have a concept for pedals at all, so we really had to sit down and sketch this uh, stuff out. Got the parts machined, uh, 3D printed, uh, and then got into the aircraft and started digging out a hole in the interior. The interior is not part of the structure right in that area. It's basically a uh, bulkhead right in front of it. That is the main structure. So we could just dig right in there and just just get that area out. Then glue some, uh, some nice carbon fiber strong brackets in there and make a base for the pedals. So that's the, that was the beginning of the project. And then we put in all these parts that we got. We had orders at Aircraft Spruce for, for all, this, all the parts we needed, which we had to wait for a, a while. But then got into that and got the parts. And now today, uh, it's basically uh, at a stage where I would say I, I would go out and test it right now. One of the hardest parts was just getting the wires uh, kind of guided uh, through to the side, and we ended up using using our um, basically our um, our uh, water rudder uh, guides there to to uh, to guide the wires back. And so some of the issues that I want to address that I think are going to happen first and foremost with the free swimming wheel, I'll finally have some feeling on what is going on with the tail when we uh, put on power. Because with the, with the uh, electromechanical system, the nose gear was stuck in a position, which meant that you're not going to be able to pull the nose much on the basis of the uh, forces on the tail. And that's quite important to know. You want to know what the torsional forces, the gyro forces of the engine are doing. You want to know what the aerodynamic forces are doing on the tail. And you want to know those quite early. So this is going to allow us to actually get uh, some of that information very early so I'm really really looking forward to that um, so but, but the main issues will be slow taxi because of the nose gear so you basically have to force it around as long as we can line up on the runway it's fine as far as the control system goes everything seems to be working really well so I don't have any other issues that are kind of nagging uh, at me at the moment anyways I look forward to the next updates and uh, keep you all posted